So let's talk about modifier 24. Modifier 24 is the modifier that is used for an unrelated ENM service or evaluation and management service by the same physician or other qualified healthcare professional during a post-operative period. So by definition, this modifier is to be used on evaluation and management services only. But there is a caveat to that. You cannot use this modifier on critical care services. That's in the ENM section of the CPT book. So when is it appropriate to use modifier 24? Well, I'm glad you asked. Again, this modifier is to be used on E&M services, evaluation and management services that is unrelated to the procedure or the surgery that was done prior to the E&M visit. You use this modifier on E&M services for visits that happen at least one day after the surgery or the procedure. So a procedure that has a global period, a 10 day or a 90 day period that happened prior to this ENM service. This ENM service cannot be related to the post-operative care of the procedure or the surgery because that is covered under the global surgical package, whether it's a 10 day or a 90 day global period. So the documentation must clearly support that this service is exclusively for the treatment of the underlying condition, not the post-operative care. But if the same physician or other qualified healthcare professional is administering like immunosuppressant therapy during the post-operative period, say a patient got a transplant surgery, but then the next day they have ENM services related to that and they're managing the therapy or the chemotherapy, then you can use an ENM service for that and append the modifier 24. There are times that is inappropriate to use modifier 24, and here they are. So do not use modifier 24 if the patient came back in for an ENM service that is related to the surgery or the procedure. Like if they're having a complication or an infection, or maybe they came in to get the sutures removed, then you cannot use the modifier 24 because that is covered under the global. As a matter of fact, any services that is related to the surgery is covered under the 10 day or the 90 day global period of whatever procedure or surgery that was performed. Also, do not use modifier 24 on EM services that is related to the surgery, the surgeon admitting the patient to a skilled nursing facility due to the related diagnosis to the surgery. Do not use modifier 24 for services that is rendered on the same day as the surgery. So if you have an EM visit that is rendered on the same day as the surgery, you will not use modifier 24. There is another modifier for that. Comment below what modifier you will use for the ENM visit that is the same day as the surgical procedure, provided that the ENM visit is also unrelated to the surgery. Also, do not use modifier 24 for any services that is related to, you know, surgical procedures, labs, x-ray supply clothes. Again, this is an ENM only modifier. And lastly, if the post-operative period has expired and the patient has come in for an ENM visit, you will not use modifier 24. You do not need a modifier on the ENM visits that is outside of the surgery. But it just so happens that the ENM, the evaluation and management services that the patient is receiving may be related to the surgery. But if the global period is, has already expired, you do not need to append a modifier 24 to that. So by now you should understand when it is appropriate to use modifier 24. So if you have any questions or if something was unclear, please comment below and I will try my best to make it clearer for you. If you've used modifier 24, just comment. I've used modifier 24 before. 
I'm curious to know how many of us actually encounter this in our day-to-day coding and billing. So until next time, talk to you soon.